Hi, this video is about how to create a TV cabinet with sliding door. Let's get started. I'm going to use the wardrobe function. Search for swing door wardrobe. And drag this universal cabinet. Change the width to 900 and 2008 in height. Then Ctrl V to copy another one. Put it on the right. Remove the plane. Just input zero. Okay. For the shelf inside the unit, you can just press G, add function part and layout as usual. I'm not going to show it in details for this part, so you can refer back to the basic class video in the description box below. Okay. Now for the TV console, you can use the same universal cabinet. Just drag it out and change the size accordingly. Again, remove the pin. Okay, and I'll reduce the depth to 480 as I'm gonna generate a door for it later so that it will not overlap with the sliding door. You can generate the door or drawer here. And now we have done the structure of the TV cabinet. Next, we're going to generate the sliding door. Here, I'm going to use a super board. Change the size to 900 on the width, 2008 on the depth. Then press B for board selection, right click, panel point editing. Click on the white region and delete it. Then use draw to draw a new rectangle. We're going to draw a slab. So the default snap point is 50mm, once you finish drawing it, you can always edit the coordinate here. So I'll change it to 20. Now click on the first rectangle and select Array. Let's array 45 horizontally with a gap of 10mm and apply. And there you have it. Click Save and Return. Next, we're just going to rotate the superbot. Press X and you can rotate already. And then we move it to the cabinet. You can press Z to move or you can also change the number here. It's up to you. So for the other one, you can just press Ctrl V to copy paste. So we're almost done now. Let's move the door to the side first. Put zero. We can use the same superboard to create the sliding rail on top of the cabinet. Just drag it out and change the size. So it's 1008. Make it 20 and the height, I'll make it 5. And then we just move it to the top. Okay. 
and that's it now we can proceed to change the color okay right click on the wall all materials cabinet material just choose your favorite color and then we can use the format painter to apply the same color to our door Okay, to add the lighting, you can go to your cloud, lighting, fill light. Drag this out and change the size. So it's 1008. Okay. Remember to press control when you move so that it sticks to where you stop. And then you can use Ctrl Shift to copy and move at the same time. So for the left and right one, you can just copy and rotate. And then you resize it. Okay, and lastly, drag out the television from cloud and we are done. So this is how to create a TV cabinet with sliding door. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Happy trying. Bye.